वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑन इनवर्स कैनामेटिक्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट द प्रोसीजर ऑफ डूइंग इनवर्स कैनामेटिक्स एंड जस्ट टू रिकॉल वी आर डूइंग द इनवर्स कैनामेटिक्स ऑफ दिस रोबोट राइट हियर व्हिच इज अ 6 डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम रोबोट एंड दिस इज डायरेक्टली टेकन फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्ट स्पेसिफिकेशन मैन्युअल व्हिच जस्ट शोस यू हाउ मच द मोटर्स कैन रोटेट इन ईच डायरेक्शन एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो टेकन अ picture from again the product specification manual which shows you the dimension of the robot and we are doing the inverse kinematics for this particular homogeneous transform right here so now beginning with inverse kinematics so we already talked about the steps so the first was one was to define a base frame and and a factor frame which we have already done the second one is to write out the forward kinematics so what is forward kinematics forward kinematics is what takes your base frame to the end factor frame so what we need to do now is we need to take this frame and move it all the way to this point and we do it as a bunch of different homogeneous transform so the first homogeneous transform is this what this represents is i take this frame right here and i move it up to this point so i can see that there is a displacement in z by 187 degrees which corresponds to this i take it up this point and then i show a rotation about z axis by theta 1 so you see i am representing this rotation right here so i am representing this rotation right here which is about the z axis and i am calling it theta 1 and so forth i am going to do other transformations that take the base frame to the end factor frame so then the my second transform is this so right now we started from here we got to this point right and then i take it further up to this point so this is 103 degrees sorry 103 units in z i take it up and here i can see that there is another rotation but this time it is about the y axis so it is about this axis and i call this theta 2 which is this rotation right here and similarly i go forth and i go with other homogeneous transforms which are all stated here i would suggest that you pause the video now and just make sure that you understand how i am doing these homogeneous transforms and also understand uh, what each of the homogeneous transforms represent just to give you a brief idea first i am taking this point this uh, base frame to this point then i am shifting it here to here then i am shifting it to this point then i am shifting it to somewhere here so this 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 and then i am shifting it to this point and once i get to this point i would stay my orientation would stay be in this direction so my x would be pointing outwards however from the specification menu we can see that the way that the people who designed the robot they have defined it they have defined the z to be pointing outwards so i need to perform another rotation once i get to this point in order to make sure my frame is perfectly aligned with the end factor frame that is shown so how i can do this is simply by doing a rotation about the y axis by 90 degrees so right now if i just draw it out really quick right now what is happening is my my y, my x is here and my z is here once i do all of these transforms my x is here and my z is here and my y is aligned with how i want it so once i do a 90 degree rotation about my y axis i would achieve the desired orientation and that is what i do right here and it has got no displacement since i don't need to displace it any further so this right here is my forward kinematics the third step is to equate the forward kinematics to be equal to the forward kinematics values which is just this homogeneous transform so i am calling this f k values 
So this is all numbers and I equated it to my forward kinematics. And you notice that I have also put in the subscript H01, H12, which just makes it easier to understand that this takes it from the base frame to the first reference frame, then first frame to the second and so forth. Then what I do is I, once I equate these out, I would have on the left hand side, all of these would have thetas in them, theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, theta 4, theta 5 and theta 6. And on the right, I have a matrix with all numbers and I just equate them and I have to solve them. But solving it in this manner becomes quite difficult because you have got six um six angles on the left and a matrix on the right so we start solving it out by employing a very clever trick so i am going to cover the trick in the next video since this video is over six minutes long so see you in the next video and thank you for watching